Hello everyone, thanks so much for clicking on this video. I wanted to catch you guys up on a bunch of stuff that we did that we didn't post about yet. So uh, a couple weeks ago, we visited my older sister in Colorado and we went to this crazy place called Meow Wolf. I don't really know how to explain it other than it's like a bunch of artists that have come together and like made all these crazy art installations um, and they have a couple in different cities. I think there's one in Vegas. This one was in Denver um, and I had heard like someone that I knew was going there um, and so I was like oh I'll check it out and I ended up taking all of my nieces and nephews and my sisters and got them all tickets to go um, and I don't know like it was really interesting um, but I don't really know like how to describe it. It was kind of like weird but cool and like unexpected um i almost feel like you maybe like <laughs> i don't know if it's like for people to like go take drugs and then like go trip out at a place like this i really don't know um but it was like an interesting thing to do um and here are some of my nieces right now just like exploring the place was huge um and yeah it was just like the craziest thing i really do not know how to describe this snow was having a blast with all of her cousins though um you know exploring and walking around and um the oldest of my nieces um was like this place is weird <laughs> but like they were having fun you know checking it out so um yeah we went and did that and we also celebrated Snow's fourth birthday, which I showed you guys that a while ago. Um, and then at some point, I thought that my sister was watching Storm. Um, and then I saw my sister and Storm was not with her. And this is me panicking, like freaking out and then realizing that Storm was okay. <laughs> um, but it just kind of goes to show like you can't depend on other people watching your kids. Got to make sure you're watching them at all times, um, especially in places like that because oh man, there's some weird people out there and they like to steal kids. So um, I had a heart attack and thought I lost my son in Meow Wolf, but I did not. He had an absolute blast. He was like running around all over the place. Um, and I was trying to film, like I, I didn't film that much because we were there for a little while, but I was like, oh sis, like I'm going to film for a little bit. Can you keep an eye on the kids? But she obviously has four kids of her own. So it's kind of hard to, um, you know, watch all of the kids by yourself. So, uh, I should have known better. Anyway, this is storm having an amazing time and yeah, isn't this place so cool and like random? Have you guys ever been to a meow wolf before? Let me know down in the comments if you have, um, and what your thoughts were. It's just like, there's no like rhyme or reason to anything. It's just like all these crazy art installations. You can see people were like crawling into this area and then there was like a sitting area in there. And like, I don't know, the whole place was crazy. I like don't even know how to describe describe it but it was a fun thing to do you know like something different to go do and then I wanted to show you guys this crazy campground that we stayed at um I think this was in Utah I can't even remember we've been traveling so much I don't even remember where this was which is why I really need to like film and post the very next day because if I don't I forget um but like how cute was this I thought this was so cute and original and different they had like RVs obviously these people live here full-time but you can also go there and stay you know, temporarily like we did, but they had like all these like wooden little sheds and cabins and like outdoor kitchens. And I thought it was really unique and fun. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, so I decided to vlog a little bit of that. We only stayed there one night, um, but it was really neat. And they had a Mexican restaurant on site too, which I heard is amazing. Woo! We found plant power in Vegas. So you know that we are about to go spend a lot of money there right now. Come well, with us. Wait, here, what? Here, that. Are you so excited for your peanut butter chocolate milkshake? Me too. They have like the best milkshakes here. So there's Plant Power and if you happen to have a big RV, there is this like furniture place that you can park uh, to be able to go to Plant Power. Just our little tip. Oh, it's kind of hard to see their cool sign, but it's got like this big old burger. Huh. What, honey? Are you ready for your peanut butter milkshake? Yes. Okay. Storm Dean, where are you going? No touching. It's, it's, Do you guys want to sit outside? Um, no. You want to sit inside? I like to eat a milkshake. Oh, this place is so nice. Mom. Okay, hold on. You gotta make sure Storm isn't.
baby brother. Is that your baby brother? Well, I'm gonna wait just a little bit. All right, Dad, are you ready? We got everything. We got our iconic fries, our Big Zacks, chicken nuggets. Kids got their milkshakes. They're very. Thank you. Is it so good? Do you love it? Oh, I'm so glad. It's a water ski. They're building a slalom no, 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 course no, no, no. and having a wave pool and having a wakeboard like cable. Another week, another day, another hour since You went away and so cliche you didn't say goodbye I've been waiting We're at Not Scary Bar This is a little crew that we're hanging out with and then we also went to Not Scary Farm and they like burned the witch at the stake at midnight, which is what you're seeing right now. I had never seen that before at Not Scary Farm. And then they had these like actor witches and like people come out and into the crowd and like fight and like kill each other. It was like, it was really, <laughs> it was really entertaining. Um, we, the year before this, we went to Halloween Horror Nights. So that was um, different, uh, but we did not have the best experience. Like it was just like this whole ordeal. If you didn't watch that story time, go back and watch that. Um, but we decided to do Not Scary Farm because my friend Brittany, um, who I've been friends with since high school, has a birthday um, in October. And so we would sometimes grow up, growing up, we would go to Not Scary Farm for her birthday. And everybody was like out of state. She lives like, um, I think in Phoenix now. And so she was like, oh, I'm going to fly in. Like, we should all go. And I was like, okay, well, if you're going to fly in, I will definitely have Trav and I make our way to LA so that we can come meet and go on the same day. And so that's what we did. We all got together. Um, all of our crew that used to go together to Not Scary Farm uh, did it again this year. And then I also, of course, brought my dad and my bonus mom. Um, and then I wanted to take you guys into one of the haunted houses so you can kind of experience it with me. I know it's after Halloween time, but I thought it would be fun. Um, so we ended up getting the like VIP or like front of the line pass or whatever that was. Um, so we were able to go into every haunted house and not have to wait in the line, which if you can afford that, I would highly recommend doing that because it's just so worth it. You get to like go to all, every haunted house, you know? Um, so it was really good. I had a really fun time. It was definitely scary. There was a lot of good scares. Um, and I just love doing this. You guys know Halloween is such a fun holiday for me. And, um, I really enjoy like all the, the creativity and time and effort that like goes into, um, you know, like the art of all of it. I think that's like one of my favorite things is, you know, somebody spent a lot of time and effort to like make all these sets and, um, and it's just really fun to be able to go through and see that and also get scared and, um, and also to be able to like enjoy it with my dad, because, you know, growing up Halloween's always, he's always made it really fun for us by like going all out and decorating, but he's getting older now. And so he didn't decorate this year because my sister had a baby. Um, and so there was just a lot going on and we were having to like move her like from her house. Um, she was moving and having a baby and like it kind of all happened at the same time. And it was all like Halloween weekend and like around Halloween time. And so we didn't end up uh, like going big, like we usually do, um, for Halloween. So if you're curious why we didn't decorate, that's the main reason was because of my sister, but, um, but we did end up being able to go to knots and, um, and that was really fun. Uh, and also another thing is like, because I'm not vegan anymore, um, I was able to get like beef jerky and it was like so good, um, at knots. And it was from, I'm trying to remember what it was called. It was like some place that was also selling like chamoy, like 
gummy strip. I don't know. It was like some random place in Knott's that was like selling like a vendor that was like selling all this like jerky and like, you know, stuff that's not good for you. And I like went and bought a bunch of stuff because I love like supporting small businesses. And, um, so when I walked by, I was like, oh, I want to like support this business. I think it was called jerking out jerky. And it was like, <laughs> it was so good. I almost like want to buy more online. Um, but anyway, so yeah, we had a really fun time and, uh, I definitely feel like next year, no matter where we are in the country, like I really want to try to come back again to do knots and just make it like an annual thing that we do every Halloween, um, with my friends and my dad and Lori and stuff. Cause I don't know, it's just like a fun thing to look forward to each year and, um, something special that we get to do, uh, as like friends and family. Um, if you got, this one was like really wild, by the way, some of them were like so realistic and like spooky, but it also like gave me such good ideas and I get so much inspiration because I'm working on something really fun right now. And if you've been following me on social media, you kind of know, like I've been like working on these like secret projects behind the scenes that I've kind of been like hinting towards, but not really like coming out and telling you what they are. But if you follow me on Instagram or TikTok, you might kind of have gotten an idea of what I'm doing. Um, and if you have an idea, let me know. Cause some of it has to do with like haunted stuff. Um, and yeah, I'm really, really excited about that. And I cannot freaking wait to share it. So going through these haunted houses, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting so many like cool ideas and inspiration of like what I want to do. Um, and, uh, yeah, it was just super fun. Like, look how cool this is. Isn't this so much fun? I don't know. I guess if you're not into like spooky stuff, um, you wouldn't like this, but for me, it was like the highlight of my day. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. I'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy, and I hope to see you in my next video. Mwah.